Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Methusiasm. Today we're going to solve this system of three equations in three unknowns. Oh, not really. We don't have to figure out each of the values of x, y, and z. Instead, the question is asking for the value of xy plus yz plus cx only. To start with, let's see if there's anything special about the constants 9, 49, and 64. Well, they're all square numbers. So we change them to 3 square, 7 square, and x square. Now, let's focus on the left hand side. They are the square terms and the cross terms. Compare them with the perfect square identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. It's so unfortunate that we miss a factor of 2 in the cross terms. Anyway, let's change them to 2 times 1 over 2. So that's something like this. Well, it's still not quite nice if we stick to algebra only. How about moving to geometric method? On the left hand side, we have two square terms and 2xy, 2yz, and 2zx. Is there any formula in geometry which has a similar form? Yes, the cosine formula a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine theta is equal to c square. Now, if we compare this equation with the three given one, then we have negative cosine theta is equal to 1 of 2 in all cases. Solving that, we have theta is equal to 120 degrees. Let's rewrite the equations like this. In other words, we can draw three triangles based on these equations. Let's see how to work it out. From the first equation, x squared plus y squared minus 2xy cosine 120 degrees equals to 3 squared. We draw the side PA with length x, the side PB with length y, and the angle between them is 120 degrees. So the length of the opposite side AB is equal to 3. Next, for the equation y squared plus z squared, minus 2yz cos 120 degrees equal to 7 square. We can make use of the side PB with length y. Then rotate 120 degrees to draw a side PC with length z. So the length of BC is 7. For the third equation, we we'll have the two sides PC and PA with lengths z and x respectively. As the sum of angles at a point is 360 degrees, Therefore, angle APC is also 120 degrees. Now, we can draw the side CA and the length is 8. Well, we get a nice figure. The lengths of three sides of triangle ABC are 3, 7, and 8. What's next? Let's look at important formula to find the area of triangle. If the three sides of triangle are A, B, and C, then we find its semi perimeter S, which is equal to A plus B plus C all over 2. The area of the triangle is equal to the square root of S times bracket S minus A times bracket S minus B times bracket S minus C. This is the famous Heron's formula. Let's put the lengths 3, 7, and 8 into the formula. Then S is equal to 9. And the area of triangle ABC is equal to the square root of 9 times 9 minus 3 times 9 minus 7 times 9 minus 8, which is the square root of 108. Simplify the third, we get 6 square root 3. Okay, go back to our original question. What is the value of xy plus yz plus cx? We have to look at another formula with these cross terms. Which one is good? Let's make use of this one. The area of triangle is equal to 1 over 2 a b sine theta. There's a cross term a b in the formula. Then we can break down the area of triangle a b c into three parts, which are 1 over 2 x y sine 120 degrees plus 1 over 2 y z sine 120 degrees plus 1 over 2 z x sine 120 degrees and the sum is equal to 6 times square root 3. Take out the common factors 1 over 2 times sine 120 degrees 
we have xy plus yz plus cx is equal to 6 square 3. That's exactly what we are looking for. Because sine 120 degrees is equal to square 3 over 2, cancel out the square 3 on both sides, we get the answer. xy plus yz plus cx is equal to 24. This is really a cool problem. We don't have to make use of complicated algebra. Here, geometry plays an essential role in problem solving. If you would like to know more interesting algebra problems, please check out the links of my videos and playlists shown on the screen and in the descriptions below. See you in the next video.